Okay, Taurus, let's take a deeper look into your romantic relationship. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising people. Show me Taurus a deeper look into the romantic relationship. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, a deeper look into the romantic relationship of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Taurus, a deeper look. Taurus, a deeper look into their romantic relationship. King of Wands. Some of you can be dealing with the five sign of Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. This could be a man that is very attractive physically. He attracts a lot of people towards him, romantically, non-romantically. Very aesthetically pleasing. This is the alpha male in the towel. Um, this person could be of any sign. They're coming up as the King of Wands. Very direct, very action-oriented, very goal-oriented, believes in going after what he wants most definitely. You all have this person around you, this King of Wands energy. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. You're showing up in your energy. This is one of you all's cards, the Nine of Pentacles with Taurus. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, um, Sun, Moon, Rising person here. Is... Some of you, Taurus, it could be about deciding who you're going to devote your time, energy, and effort to. You had a Knight of Wands. A message could come to you quickly from this person, or this person could show up into your life quickly. They're focused on work. We had a food card, or this could be you focused on work. You have Virgo, Virgo here strong. You have Aries, Sagittarius here. Now, it could be another Taurus. Is focus on work. I, I will feel that you could be done putting time, energy, and effort into this situation. Or this is somebody that comes into your life and they're willing and ready to put the time, energy, and effort into a situation. They can suddenly appear in your life, or you can out of the blue get a message from this person. Show me this King of Wands. Seven of Cups. See, you need to decide who you're going to give your time to, Knight of Cups. You two are going towards one another. They're the Knight of Wands. You will be the Knight of Cups energy, maybe responding to them once they appear. If this is somebody new or reappear, if this is somebody that you've been dealing with, out of the blue, all of a sudden, a message. This could be somebody that you left and set yourself free from, is what I'm getting also. Tars, show me Tars, Summon Rising. Their partner, potential partner's energy. This person has more than you around them. They can have a codependent situation. This would be you. You would be independent. They, they can have people that are codependent. This could be romantically, non-romantically. Especially those you're dealing with Leo and you had a king of wands here. People that are dependent on them. People that are tied to financially. Or romantic relationships that are codependent like that. You're the Nine of Pentacles, free and independent. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to communicate with you. At one point, Taurus, I feel that this was you. Maybe with the karmic scales. And you may have freed yourself from this person. Show me Taurus. Nine of Wands. You can, your energy could be a little bit defensive, Knight of Wands. I mean, the Ace of Swords with the Knight of Wands. So you may have cut this person out of your life. They want to talk. They can want to tell the truth or you spoke the truth to them. You had Ace of Pentacles. It's about commitment. They, this person, just like Leo, they have people that are financially dependent. Family members or exes. King of Swords and you have the um, 
king of wands and you have death some of you can have one an old person gone they're going to try to come back communicate because you're going to commit to a new person somebody could offer you commitment it could be a king of swords they're holding the sword it could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius someone rise it could be a scorpio it could be a fire sign it could be anybody now it's like there's an ending here for so that a new beginning can happen okay or after ending there's a new beginning here like that so some of you could be ending something with someone and somebody new is going to all of a sudden come into your life and it has a lot of potential or they're already around and that's your decision as i stated in the beginning you're deciding who you need to focus on and you will be focusing your energy on this king of swords despite their sign even if it's a fire sign it could be anybody like that so you could be cutting somebody out and letting somebody else completely in cross watcher us of you, it would be about this. Could be if this is the same person, they could be acting cold, aloof, and detached. They could be focused on money. There's a lot of money here. They would be focused on money and getting themselves out of some type of financial bind or doing something so that these people that are around them could be more financially dependent. You got the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Some of you have choices in love. You have to decide whether they're good choices or worth your time, energy, and effort. You decide that based on what they're offering. Like that. You have a king of pillars and a king of swords. This could be the same person. These could be three different people. Let's see. Some of you, Tars, you're dealing with a king of swords. Other you're dealing with a king of wands. And then you have a king of pentacles that is here. That's the Taurus man. Or Virgo man, strongly here. Or it could be a Capricorn to a lesser extent. Knight of Pentacles, somebody's been moving slow, it's been a King of Pentacles, wanting to reconcile. Now, those you dealing with uh, um, a King of Pentacles, they want to reconcile. They've been moving slow. This is, this is, this slow is moving nine and dead. Like that. This one has to be resuscitated in order for them to know that they should be take part in life. They do real slow. They want to reconcile with you. Now, you may have freed yourself from them, or they are free, and they want to reconcile with you. I feel that like this is you as the fool freed yourself from them, because they're coming back to reconcile. Now, then some of you, those you're dealing with the king of swords, it will be that man is focused on work. A king of wands has codependent people around them, depending on them financially. This king of swords is focused on work. Let's see. He could be somebody new or old coming into your life. Let's see. Show me this king of swords for Leo. Leo men were dealing with the air sign, female, sun sign. Chariot, success of leaving the past behind. A king of wands. That's the same sex relationship for some of you. Others of you, this king of swords and king of wands, the same person. They call air, earth. Air, fire, excuse me. Or air, fire, earth here. Some of you are leaving a king of swords for a king of wands. Others of you are leaving a king of wands for a king of swords. Same thing as over there. Magician, somebody manifesting. Secret relationship. Some of you are in a secret relationship with a married man. There's the wife, the empress. Somebody, a, a, a man is in a secret relationship with a woman that is married. Or wanting to manifest a relationship with a woman that is married. Wanting her to leave the married person behind and move towards him. He's wanting to manifest with her. Okay. Show me... Taurus. The moon, yeah. Eight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Okay. There's been okay, also here in Taurus. Some of you are dealing with there's a, a, a Leo man or a I'm picking up Leo strong in your child. I hope I in, in your spread. I hope I didn't call you all Leo. There's a Leo man planning something. If it's not a Leo man, it is, there's a man that is planning in secret or, or trying to manifest in secret. It would have been a situation that kept you stuck. It'll be more likely for those of you all that have two men around you like that.
as opposed to you being that somebody has two women, like, mm -mm. is it be where you have two men around you, that situation. Us, you're dealing with a king of pentacles, earth sign, sun sign man, he straight out wants to reconcile. And obviously, you're free to do so with the fool, and you free yourself from him. And he's, he's coming in like that is what I'm getting. This king of swords, as I stated, and he's over here also, something has to end. He's going to communicate so that something, and he's going to offer you something solid. He could offer you something solid so to, to create an ending like that. He Somebody is realizing they have to take it up, jump a cables or something on them to take something into their own hands if anything is going to happen like that. So, or they just, they're just watching life just go on and they're, and they're just a, a bystander in their own life here. It's what somebody's feeling. I feel like it's this king of swords that's feeling it. Okay. Or it could be the King of Wands. These two here go together. This King of Wands and King of Swords energy dies. This would, would be you. But Taurus, I feel that this King of Swords and this King of Wands is you have Leo here strongly. Some of you have Leo strongly. You try to you're dealing with somebody that does. It will be where is this 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 king of ones this king of swords is your energy is the nine of pentacles you're in your element they both have people around them either ex romantically or family members that are dependent on them and this is you nine of pentacles free And this seven because about strategizing because this king of swords is going to offer you something before he tightens this up. Or this king of wands could offer you something and knowing what the blockage would be. Like, okay, and I'm not talking about hiding relations and willingly being somebody's whore. I'm talking about people tied to people financially like that. Okay, they're going to try to offer you something and get you to accept it before tightening this up or they're going to realize that they have to get out of it get out of it because whoever they will be tied to some of you obviously are connected with leo whoever they will be tied to will be just as willing as trying to hold on to them tightly because they will be tied to them for finances so they're not just going to let these people go easily like that the ex isn't just going to bow out when she was able to be dependent financially the family member or family members aren't just going to bow out just because they were being able to, just because, um, especially if they were dependent financially. They, these men have karmic financial ties like that is what they have for this spread. Okay, um, Taurus, I'm going to continue later with your spread. The link is in the description box for this video per usual. Bye.